Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher and welcome to the 12 days of Flipmas. I cannot believe that we are on day 12. This has been one of the most challenging, but yet one of the most fun little adventures that we have taken on here on our YouTube channel. And we're so happy that we got to bring you guys along. And again, I just really hope that this brought some Christmas spirit to you guys. I know it's been a long time since I have been flipping furniture. So what better way to get all 12 flips in one month? This is going to be an epic video. So stick around till the end, but first things first, we need to clean. I got this kitchen table and chair set for $60 and I can't wait to show you what I've got in mind for it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is cleaning this tabletop and I'm going to start on the table and that is because I want to get to sanding and see what is under this very orange finish that is probably from the 90s. I feel like these oak tables were definitely more 90s style and they're just really not in style anymore, but doesn't mean that these tables cannot be saved and changed and made to look different because they've still got so much life in them. I've come to the conclusion that I don't like doing tables and chairs. So you're probably wondering, Lauren, why are you flipping a table and chairs for Flipmas? You said that you were never gonna do it again. But the more I think about it, the more that I realize that the only color I've ever painted a table and chairs is white. And white takes a lot more coats than another color. Um, and because there are so many spindles with chairs and tables, it just really deters me from doing it because it takes so, so long. But I decided that I want to try my hand at kind of just designing something um, for my own my own just design itch that I've got going on, this creative itch. And every other table I've done has been for someone else, minus one. And so the, out of the four or five tables I've done, I've never done one that I'm like, I have full complete creative control over this. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with this table. So I'm excited because I have some cool ideas. Um, it's gonna end up being pretty simple, but I just wanna show you guys how you can update something like this. Maybe you have it, or maybe you um, find a lot of them on marketplace or thrift stores because people are getting rid of them. Um, but trust me, you can salvage these. So I'm gonna be using white lightning to clean the top here. We're cleaning before we sand so that, you guys can probably tell me, so that we don't grind down that grease and dirt and dust into the surface of the table when we're sanding. So I just spray my white lightning and wipe it down. I'm just focusing on the top right now, honestly. So I got this for $60 off of Facebook Marketplace. Neiman actually went and grabbed it for me. It was about 40 minutes away. And so he went and picked this up the whole set and came back and I was just ready to get started. So it is a little bit wobbly. So we'll definitely have to address that. It's probably just missing one of the little things on the bottom, but very, very dirty on the top. So definitely clean your furniture off. Now that the white lining has been wiped off, I'm gonna just take some fresh water to get any leftover residue off the table. So it's time to sand. I have got my RZ dust mask on here and I'll link that down below. You can also get 10% off by using my code FFT10. It's great for keeping dust out of your lungs. You can also grab a surf prep sander and use my code FFT10 to get 10% off of that system as well. This thing has seriously saved my life when it comes to sanding. It cuts down on the time that it takes me to sand different things. 
I love the foam abrasive pads that contour to the curvature of furniture. There's so many awesome things about this. It fits right into my hand. They've got awesome sandpaper. The list goes on and on. Definitely highly recommend, especially if you are an avid flipper. I'm gonna, it's also hooked up to my dust extractor. So that's why I can do this inside and not get dust all over my other furniture that's around. And I'm just gonna go to town. We're gonna be stripping the top completely down because this orangey color is not in style and it's not very appealing to me. So I am going to sand it off. It looks to have a really cool wood grain, so I am going I am excited to see that once it is like real raw wood. I'm using an 80 grit to get down beneath the finish. Remember that when you're using your sandpaper, you want to start with a lower grit if you're trying to um, take the finish off. So I'm starting with 80 and then I'll go up a few more grits to like 120, 220 to smooth it out. Hey, got it, kinda. <laughs> All right, done with the sanding on the tabletop. Woo! Next up, now that that sanding's done, I need to clean the remainder of the table and also the four chairs. All right, now that I am done with the table, it's time for the chairs. I am giving them a nice clean with white lightning. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and rinse them all away as well. And then we'll do a scuff sand. We got four chairs to go. All righty, all four chairs are cleaned and rinsed. So I'm gonna grab my sander so we can scuff sand really quick. chair number four done so now we're gonna set up the spray tent and get some paint on these guys it's time to clean I've got the table upside down here just so that I can get to it easier and I'm gonna be using Dixie Bell's light light whitening no white lightning to clean and this is like a TSP substitute and so it's really going to help get that grease off of the surface as well as any dirt or even food probably that's still on the table down here maybe some dog slobber or who knows what's on the bottom of this table so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice clean so that we can get to scuff sanding Okay, now that I got all of it cleaned with my white lightning, I need to go ahead and rinse. And I'm gonna rinse with some clear water. That way I can make sure to get all of that cleaner off of the surface, as well as just like one more wipe down. It's always good because maybe you missed a little bit um, the first time that you wiped everything down. So let's go ahead and rinse this off. Okay, now that we are all cleaned on the table at least, and I'm kind of doing like one piece at a time, I guess, if you will, uh, because the chairs are gonna be a whole nother story. But while I've got this already upside down, I am gonna go ahead and grab my sander. I haven't decided, I think I'm going to just, I don't know. I could either scuff sand by hand or I could whip out my surf prep sander and it would probably go a little bit faster and I could use my foam abrasives to help me get into all of the little nooks and crannies. And it also won't like damage any of the curvature because if I use the foam pad, it kind of, it kind of curves around with all of that. So I think I'm gonna whip out my sander real quick and I'm gonna get to scuff sanding the base of the table here. So here's my foam abrasive pad, like I was talking about. It's a medium grit, and it's going to be contouring right to 
my piece here. So all of these curves, it will not do any damage to them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a scuff sand so that my paint can adhere to the wooden surface because right now it's pretty glossy so that paint is just gonna slide right off. But we want it to grip on so we're gonna roughen up the surface just a tad bit. So everything's scuff sanded. Now, as you can see, there's lots of dust left behind here. So I'm just gonna wipe all that back. Usually I just dampen it a bit with my spray bottle and then wipe it back. It sticks a little better if you've got a damp cloth. All right, it's time to get some paint on this table and share set. So I am going with a deep blue color. Um, I wanted to go darker on this because I just have this vision in my head that the dark contrasting with the lighter top is gonna be perfect. So I'm going with Deep Sea by Dixie Bell. It's on their silk mineral line. So again, won't have to do the top coat, which I absolutely love. And then same with the primer. It has that bonding primer built in. So I've got my strainer. We're gonna strain it here into the spray can. I'm gonna go full send on the whole can, pouring it all in there. It's pretty thinned out already. With the silk paint, it says that you do not want to thin it out more than like an ounce per 16 ounces. So that is all the water that I'm gonna put in there because then I, it will still do its job with the, the top coat and the primer. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on so that I can protect my lungs when I'm spraying. I'm gonna start with the chairs and I'm gonna start with them upside down. That way I can get on the underside first and then we'll flip to the overside. Okay, and just one more thing before I spray the actual chair, I'm gonna do a little bit of a test spray to make sure my flow pattern is all good. First one done. Well, like the first coat of the first one is done. Um, not too sure how I'm gonna move this, but we're gonna move it out and get the next one going. chairs are painted and it's definitely gonna need a second coat because there's spots that I just didn't quite get because there's so many spindles and like nooks and crannies between all of the decorative um, things that are on the chairs. So next, while those are drying, I'm gonna tape off the tabletop since I want to keep it this natural wood um, and I'm gonna tape it off so that I can spray the bottom side here. I like to use this stuff. Um, it comes with the tape attached already to the plastic. And so this just makes your life a little bit easier as long as it doesn't stick to itself and it's a lot easier to um, plastic off different areas. First coat is finished up on everything. So that is gonna dry for a while and then we'll come back for coat number two. I'm going to be 
spraying Dixie Belle's satin clear coat on all of the chairs and the table. First, I am going to just test out my spray pattern because it is a top coat. Typically, they're gonna be a bit thinner. So I just wanna make sure that I don't need to thin it out even more in order for it to get a good coverage and a good spray pattern. That does it for coat one of the top coat. So we'll let that dry and come back for second coat. And with that, here is the final table and chair set. I ended up doing a total of three top coats um, because I just wanted to have the most protection possible because you know this is gonna be used as a kitchen table so it's gonna get a lot of traffic. So I'm confident that three top coats is going to help protect this tabletop as well as the chairs. You know, they could they're gonna be satin directly on the paint as well as moved around, you know, bumped. So I wanted to just make sure that they were going to stay in excellent shape for a long time to come. I am really, really happy with how this came out. As I said at the beginning of the video, I basically have only ever done white and wood combinations for kitchen and dining room tables. So I wanted to do what I wanted to do on a kitchen table set. And I've been thinking about this idea for some time now. I typically don't sell these on Marketplace because they are so time consuming and things like that. But I am just so thrilled with the way that it came out. The smoky gel stains on the top here, it, it couldn't have been a better combo. And again, one of those flips where my vision just came straight to life here on the finished product. And speaking of me selling this on Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna be listing it on Facebook, but it's a little bit different than I usually do. I am going to be reaching out to my friends and I am going to be, well, FFT is going to be donating this table and chairs to a family in need for this holiday season. Last year, we were able to donate 10 families their Christmas presents. And this year with Flipmas and all of the chaos um, of the holiday season, we weren't able to go quite that large, but I thought that this would be a really fun way still to be able to give back something that I absolutely love doing and something that I typically don't sell on Marketplace anyway. I wanna be able to bless a family that maybe doesn't have a kitchen table or they have one but it's rickety or it just needs an update. So I'm going to be posting out to my Facebook friends and all of the people that I know to see if we can find a family that would just love to have this set in their home. I can't believe that we are at the end of the 12 days of Flipmas. It has been so much fun, but yeah, it has also been a ton, a ton of work. So I'm very proud of myself for getting 12 flips done. And they weren't only just basic furniture flips. I tried to switch it up for you guys, but also switch it up for myself because I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to do things that I have never done before. I wanted to do different types of furniture so that you didn't see 12 dressers flipped in one month. Um, uh, that would be really cool, but I just wanted to do so many different styles of furniture, and I think that I really achieved that. I'm also very thankful for Neiman. He has been with me every single day filming the content 
And also we want to thank Harrison because we couldn't have done it without him. Neiman is the one who oversees Harrison and his edits. So us three could not do this without each other. So be sure and show everyone some love down in the comments because this was so much fun for all of us, although it did entail a lot of work. And I want to not forget to thank you guys. It's almost the end of the year. So thank you guys so much for your support throughout the whole 2022. It's just been crazy from furniture to going to a new house to going to furniture again. It's been kind of all over the place, but we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you so much for your support. We will have another video next Thursday, so be sure and get subscribed down below so that you don't miss it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We will be showing you guys the footage from us delivering this table. So that is gonna be really heartwarming and heartfelt. I hope that you guys have a amazing holiday season and that you have a very happy new year. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. We'll see you on the flip side.